This is Naina Curley from WAMDA here at the Montech Tuesday second anniversary event with Yusuf Ghandour of Anabasali. Yusuf, how are you? I'm good. What did you get involved in before you created Anabasali? Two, um, two than three years or three years ago, I started working on uh, Timeville, and then I stopped. It is basically a Facebook timeline like application or services. And then I stopped working on that, and then I moved to working on another application called Bubsy. Then I jumped to Anabasali, which is what I'm focusing on right now. What made you switch to a new idea? Can you describe those ideas briefly, and what made you pivot out of them or start something new? For time well, it was a failure. We failed in taking this product to the market. And uh, so we moved to try to build another product or service. And it wasn't like we didn't like get attract the uh, attract, uh, attraction in the market. So then we moved to Anavasali, and we're focusing on that right now. What we, we think is that Anavasali is really the right move at the right time now. What factors went into the failure? Before it is um, mostly because of the ecosystem. So we face really a tough time raising money. Um, also, we were, I was the only entrepreneur, as far as I know, there, so I was like trying to do a lot of things just by myself. I find some support from my team members like Ahmed and Ice, but uh, then we stopped working on this like a couple of months after we started because of mainly of the funding. We were not able like, to raise another round of funding. So it wasn't a difficulty with finding a user base, it was the investment? We didn't reach the, the, you know, the point where we were you know, trying to attract users, but we failed even before that. It was really a problem with raising the fund, the money, and taking the application to the market. How many other startups or entrepreneurs do you know that have had this same experience? In, you mean in Palestine? In Palestine. In Palestine, I'm not sure if there is a lot of failures. There are small projects. People like students or even engineers or professionals, they started working on a couple of things and they stopped. But as far as I know, none or very few of them grow to be a startup. It's all was, was just projects to try to put something out there and to see if it's, it's going to work or not. But for people to start really focusing on something and to start to, to raise really, to start to, to try to raise money and fund and to meet more users to use the application service, um, there are a few and they are still in progress. They are not failed yet, but still they have a lot to do. What needs to change? In the ecosystem? In the Palestinian ecosystem, aside from the political context. So, um, we believe that there is a couple of challenges for us there, like exposure to the technology out there, um, openness and trust, uh, that the culture of innovation and entrepreneurship itself is not there, and the support in the community itself. So we're working, for example, in Peaks, we're working to, on that to try to promote this culture of innovation and, pro and entrepreneurship, and we're trying to like facilitate um, that, you know, to, to try to provide the tools and the techniques for peeps, not just us, because it is a grassroots community. We're trying all together to try to bring, to build this community, to try to help uh, each other to reach to the point where, you know, the ecosystem is more mature to support this kind of things like entrepreneurship and influence. So just bringing the community together and having a cohesive voice you can help push for change? Yeah, we're pushing. We're trying to learn. We're trying, uh, we're seeing something like, okay, let's fail, let's learn, let's move on. And then also we're trying to bring like speakers, uh, leaders from the technology sector, entrepreneurs to Palestine to try to like learn from. We also, as individuals, a couple of people in Peaks, for example, we're trying to really to make it, so to like at least to have a success story. Yes, and um, what brings you to Amon Tech Tuesday's anniversary event? First to meet 
um, I think Amman is amazing. They are doing really great. Their ecosystem is uh, is improving in terms of you know for innovation and entrepreneurship. If you look, there is a lot of startups here, and I'd like to hear about ideas about uh, different to see and to meet entrepreneurs from the region. Also, I was involved in Oasis 500, so I met here like five or six people who were incubated also in, the way, in my way. And are there elements that you'd like to take back with you or that you see that are exportable or that inspire you? I'd like to have something like a man take Tuesday in Palestine. I'd like to have to see like 10 startups working seriously on their projects. What's your advice to entrepreneurs in Palestine? Don't afraid to fail. Uh, try focus. This is really important about the focus because more a lot of entrepreneurs in Palestine they are really distracted. So I think I'm, I'm telling this to them and to myself. Just focus. Try to keep just focus on one thing. Get it right. Get it out there. And I think it will be amazing. Thanks so much, Yusuf, for sharing this with Wanda. Thank you. Welcome.